going to do is on the count of three, I want you to say that baby's name or the thing of who they are, okay? And we're going to let go and let God, okay? One, two, three. Hi, my name is Ashley Sargent, and we are here today at the home of Vintage Pickin in Fife, Alabama to do a photo shoot for all the Rainbow Mamas. So the photo shoot we're doing today is um, for all the mothers of Rainbow Babies. And if you don't know what a Rainbow Baby is, it's a child that's born after a miscarriage. So today I have invited about 40 mothers and their children to come and participate in this huge Rainbow photo shoot to celebrate all of the babies that have been born after this rainbow. I, it can pass you by. It can be a road. A road once traveling light. It can wake down. It can be a start. A new Me and my husband have, were recently married in October of 2017. Um, we have a mixed family. I have three girls and he has a son. We prayed and um, after a positive pregnancy test at home, um, of course, you know, we set up a doctor's appointment that happened to be on Valentine's Day. We were um, in the sonogram room and um, the um, so, uh, sonographer, you know, was trying, she kept just talking to me and I could sense that something wasn't quite right. So I go in for six weeks just to get a view. Um, heart rate looks good, baby looks perfect the way it should be. Then I go in for my eight week appointment. So I'm eight and a half weeks. Um, and I knew when she put that transducer on my belly, it wasn't a normal heartbeat. I was devastated. I had felt grief and loss like I've never felt before. Um, just indescribable. So it was 28 weeks and um, we had lost our son Sam. So it was horrible. Um, my world shattered. I didn't know. I thought it was something I had done. Um, you know, the worst thing that's ever happened to me to date. Um, it was awful. Something that no one should ever have to experience. But I thank you guys because we are being a part of something that's so huge. Not because of us, but because this is something that the Lord wants us to do. Each one of you went through some kind of crazy struggle that I prayed so hard I never went through. So I'm, my heart goes out to you. I can't feel the same kind of pain that you did. But seven years ago, I wanted so desperately to become a mother. And we struggled for four years for infertility. We finally got pregnant. And then moments before I found out that I got pregnant, I realized, I told God, I said, if this is what you want for my life, if this is what you want, I will speak hope. And I found out that night that I was pregnant with my son. And I thank God so much for all of those hardships that I went through and all of those struggles that I went through because it brought me here. I met every single one of you, and through this, we are a sisterhood. So what we're going to do now is I want everybody to take a balloon and we're going to remember those babies that we lost, <laughs> that you lost, because they were important. They were a person and I want you to remember them, okay? One, two, three. 
if anyone was going through a miscarriage right now, um, and I've actually had two friends that have gone through it, I wouldn't know exactly what to say to them. There is nothing that you can say to make it better. Um, time is the only thing that will help heal the pain at all. Um, but I would tell them to not give up hope. A lot of women don't talk about it. A lot of women have the issue. Um, so, but for anyone going through it, there is hope. There is always a rainbow after the storm. There, there can be. If you just trust and believe that it can happen, it can happen for you as well. As dark as the times will come, don't lose hope and never give up because the Lord has a plan for you and he's writing this incredible story. You just kind of have to be patient and write it out. Don't give up. Don't give up. You keep trying. Yes, it will. It'll get your soul. But just know that that baby is with God and they're having a great time. And know there are going to be some trials, but you just got to know in your heart, you can do this. God will. You just got to relax and go with it and you'll be just fine.